everyone. Thanks for checking out my fireplace tutorial. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you how to build fun and functional fireplaces from modern to rustic with just the base game objects. You don't need any mods, any packs, any CC to make these. Anyone can make these with just base game objects. And of course, if you have packs, you can get a lot more creative. You have a lot more options. You can make some really awesome fireplaces. But even with the base game, you can still get really creative and make some really cool fireplaces. So let's jump right into it. Start off by enabling move objects, show hidden objects, and show live edit objects. I'm starting with the more modern fireplace. I am using the manure stone fireplace from the base game and I'm using the tool sanding block that you can find in the debug menu. I'm going to size my fireplace down to the smallest I can get it and you see it wants to snap to the walls. This is why we deleted the walls and this tool sanding block wants to snap to the top of the fireplace so we're going to place the sanding block first. I sized that up and I made it so that my fireplace top would show through it so you can light the fireplace easily. And then I place my fireplace with the front facing forward so you can light it and a little bit off center because the fire, you have to give room for the fire and this makes it look more natural. Then I'm gonna draw my walls back here. And I'm also gonna use the Fate Postmodern Stove Hood and I sized this up three times gives it a really nice look here. The only problem with it is it clips through the wall on the back side. So there's a couple solutions for this. You can draw a fireplace around it or you can take a fireplace and size it up to cover it. You can also size it down one and then use two of them next to each other like so. Or you can just knock out the wall and have this be an open room with an open fireplace and put like maybe the kitchen or the dining room on the other side. As you can see the fireplace lights perfectly and is fully functional. For this modern retro fireplace I'm using the Averse Mirror from the base game. I'm also using the Manor Stone fireplace and again the Tool Sandy Block from Debug. I size this mirror up. You're going to want to use the medium or tall walls for this. You can use the short walls and not size up the mirrors and you'll have a small fireplace, but it also works. So I'm going to place the tool standing block first. And then here I'm using four fireplaces sized down to the smallest. And of course you want to have the opening side of the fireplace facing forward so you can light it. And I'm putting two more on the other side with the opening so that the person can light it. I'm also using the steely fan range hood and I'm going around and putting this on all four sides of the fireplace. And I'm also going to use the Fate Postmodern stove hood again. On the top I raised it up one and I'm going to place it on all four sides to give this a more polished look. When creating any of these fireplaces you're definitely going to want to use a smoke detector in your house. Also this fireplace is easy to make because you don't have to break out any of the walls if you put it in the center of the room and she lights it and it works no problem, it's fully functional. Here I made a wood burning stove using the Tall Order Vintage Counter from the base game, the same fireplace, and as you can see I deleted the wall again so the fireplace won't snap to the wall. I shrunk the fireplace down and I raised it up one notch and put it inside the counter. I'm using the Athlete's Trophy Case for sort of a glass enclosure. This is from the debug menu I'm using it as a chimney stack. There's lots of options you could use. This looks industrial. I decided to go with this post from the debug menu and I used three of them together to give it a more fuller look. As you can see this fireplace lights no problem. Thanks for watching guys.